All right, um, might as well start up a stream right now. Get the uh, the video going. Um, so yeah, I think a last session, just to kind of go over what we've done, which I think was like last Monday. Um, we finally got this topi after like I'm not even joking, like 25 attempts to get the uh, minimum going. And, uh, we got it. Doing great. I should sleep, but I'm stressed for an AP test tomorrow. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't blame ya. How are they still doing the AP test? So what's the lore of a giant fucking lake? Um. From my knowledge, it was one of the massive, like, um, Germania plans. Like, um, what was it? Like, um, uh, Atlantropa? You know, damning the Mediterranean. That whole idea. This was kind of a compliment to that. I think they dam up this section of the Congo just so they can make a massive fucking lake. And from there, they just kind of, you know, do stuff. Um, there's a nice resort right here, Hitlerstadt. Um, it's, it's pretty chill. Uh, don't mind all the Nazis. Uh, that's not so chill, but every, everyone else. They're all on online this year, kind of strange. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm. What are you doing for your AP test? I should probably figure out, um, what I'm going to do next. Um, let's research some Cobra missiles. Probably kill a big fucking animal with that. And then, what else do you want to research? Probably, let's go with uh, Panzerwerfer 46. Why not? And then, focus. Are we doing any hunts right now? I don't think we are. The investors aren't happy, but who gives a fuck? You know? AP English language. Fair enough. Huh. I am. Um, I've already taken AP US history. Smart. That's good. That's nice. How do you think you did on it? Um. We might be able to invite this guy soon. Yeah, we are not hunting anything, so I think we're good. Let's go for the Red River Hog. And hope it doesn't go like the Topi. Uh, Red River Hogs are Africa's cousins to the boar. Wild boar hunting is a common pastime in Europe for hunters all across the central mountains from Italy to the mainland Reich. Mueller wants to have fun like in the old days, so there's no bet way he'll miss the opportunity to hunt beasts so closely resembling those of his homeland. Let's do it, guys. And we have some more free military factories. Might as well build more guns, you know. Get that going. So I think I'm running out of uh, screenshots for when I upload it to you this to YouTube. But um, we almost uh, got our whole little um, what you call it? The the trophy room filled out. Ace for sure. I still I feel super good about. It. That's good, dude. That's good. I never did AP tests when I was in high school. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school, so I figured. I mean, if I take it and I end up not doing fucking anything, um, what's the point? But I'm in college now, so I probably should have done it. But that's what, you know what they say about hindsight. Um, I'm glad you aced it, though. Alright. Siegfried Mueller was passing through his trophy hall all today after having lunch. He passed the showcases, which included a stuffed river hog family, hoglets and all included. One short glance, and he stopped and really take a better look again. Of course, these ugly bastards with their awkwardly shaped ears still la lacked in his grand head collection. He quickly decided to let Steiner take over the business for today and prepare a new hunt. In his office, he pondered over the map where his every where every mark his scouts had made were centralized for posterity. He swiftly identified the two spots he preferred for plentifulness of the animal. He just had to choose. On one end, there's a... Uh, I better save real quick. Um, 
Um, all hogging it. On the one hand, there was a Bateke Plateau just slightly northwest of Leopoldville. It would be a straight flight, though population thinned down ever since. The vast lands there boasted every kind of both savanna, natural, natured animals, and highland or jungle ones. The Red River Hogs among them, native of the animals prefer terrain, and thus a great hunting spot. On the other hand, the Intabwe Mountains. It would be a straight flight from there. Those mountains were not too far from the nominal border to Varaish Kamazari at East Africa and made for the breeding ground of some of the most famed highland, as well as the green savannah hunting spots in the dales, it was said. He now had to choose where he would find the most impressive game and where he would have the most luck with big, nasty river hogs. Hmm. 25% shot. Um, let's go with Bateke. That lowered our odds, goddammit. Um, a rather meaty be beast. Effective and quick. Modern and swift. Slight improvement to our odds. Let's see. Miller went to the showcase once again, instructing his crew in the count uh, countenance of the best example for a successful river hog hunt. He took one last glance through the window before he left the palace with his crew to embark on the hunt. They solely considered of veterans of a garrison scouting corps and blah, mercenaries that had hunted wild blah. I can't speak tonight. What is going on? That had hunted wild hogs, though not exclusively of African origin, before. They had themselves... They, blah, I can't... What is wrong with me? I cannot read today. They made themselves comfortable in the Grand Helicopter's cabin. Everything was ready. Raish Kamazar rubbed his hands at the thought of slaying one of these orange bristled things soon. He pictured it right in front of him, aiming at the big creature and hit, bah, directly hitting it through its heart. Him approaching after the deadly blow, fascinated by the ugly beast adorned with awkward ears and a black spotted forehead above a white snout. However, he had to hold himself back, despite the glee of finally hunting again, for the hunt merely beckoned. Well, the hunt's officially on. Let's go. Um... We're closing in Resh Kamazar. Finally, the pilot's word saved him from clean... Uh, da da da. Uh, helicopter sword. Da da da. I already read this before. How do you want to proceed? You see da da. Fly high or low? Let's go with low. Slight improvement to our odds. Alright. Siegfried Mueller made sure his rifle was ready to go. Enough ammo? Check. No blocking? Check. Clean crosshair glass? Check. Itchy trigger finger? finger? Double check. He didn't want all this neat planning, all these efforts for the nonce. He was concentrated as ever when he was hunting. He started to aim and search for his target. There it was, a wide grin appeared on his face, but he had to suppress it a bit for the hunt wasn't finished yet. Next to a comfortable pond, they lay two adult Red River hogs, their snouts pushing the mud and the water and hoglets swarming all around them. They were vulnerable there. Now was their time. Seize the moment while they were relaxing. Before they decided to move on, Mueller didn't like to disturb the family's like scenery. If it wasn't for the hunter's urge to do so, he aimed at, at the one of them he desired most for its brutish shape. Their hog was just a backup. He wanted this one beyond what was good and evil for a hunter. One last adjustment. He was ready. He started counting down and said, like always, dry. Zwei. Eins. And let's see. Oh. Damn it. We missed it. The bolt merely scratched the creature's misshapen ears. The river hog looked awkwardly and seemingly signified his family to retreat swiftly via weird noises. The successful shots were a total disaster, sending sprays of mud between the unintentionally dodging hogs. Maybe the unluckiest way bullets were ever handled in Mueller's eyes. Oh, you have no idea, Mueller. Good you didn't watch the last couple parts. Um, the creatures made their... They escaped nearly unharmed, barring one dead hoglet. So, at least we shot one. They searched for the adult hogs some while on the ground, yet hadn't any luck with them either. Mueller didn't want to return empty-handed. He w wouldn't even consider it taking the tiny hoglet, hoglet as a trophy, for it looked nothing like the grown Red River hogs. Had he just claimed a River Hog head trophy before? Well, he still you. Well, he could still use the stuff one at the palace, but Mueller was a man wasn't a man of cheating himself like this. 
Forced to make his peace with not slaying the escaped animal on this unlucky day, he took hold of his senses again. While they returned to the helicopter fly off again, he swore to take head trophies from all hunted game from now on afterwards. Well. Take two. Let's hope it doesn't end up like the fucking Topi. Ah. Uh, I'm not even joking. I counted, um... How many times I attempted in the first two parts, I didn't want to look at the other two parts and see how long it took. It was like... 18 parts in these, the first two, um... Little bits. Let's take, uh, the long flight. Um... Modern and swift. On is on. We stayed high last time. Let's, I don't think we did. We, st we went low. Let's see. There we go! The bullet hit the river hogs humped back, an ensuing feast of blood and gore. The beast wasn't felled immediately, still trying to stand up while the other creatures took the flight. It was shot time and time again. The hoglets were shrieking and running everywhere, miraculously dodging the bullets at all the while. Just in the vicinity of Mueller's ear, another shot was fired, swiftly pursued by another one. He himself shot again as well, delivering the ultimate blow. Most of the hoglets and, other, and the other adult hogs were gone by now. And the desired target finally collapsed. They approached the dead animal on the ground, and stepped after step, Mueller wa Mueller's grin widened. Barely a meter apart from it, he cluelessly shot in the air at a harbinger of his over or so ah, of his over excitement. He hadn't slain such an impressive head, uh, Ah, such a big hog in a long time. This particularly rare specimen's impressive head was about to adorn the halls of his palace and bestow upon it some more grandeur. Miller quickly took hold of his senses again. He tried to lift the hog, but needed one helping hand for that. This one was big, just perfect for trophy. So how do they work with the AP test? Do they do it... Do you still have to wake up at a certain time, or... Do they... Can you do it whenever? Or how are they doing that? Um, let's go for giraffe. Giraffes are truly a unique sight in the savanna. Taller than... Oh, wait, we gotta... I'll read it right, right now, just in case. Taller than three or more meters to reach for the high high tree leaves they so much love to eat. Giraffes are peaceful herbivores, known for emitting almost no sound. Still, their quiet demeanor shouldn't fool the green hunter, for their hooves can break a lion's neck with ease. And they can reach stunning speed while galloping. Just imagine how how such a wonderful animal would tower in Milo's trophy room. Hmm. I can th I'm thinking about it right now. There it lay, flawless, and with an awkwardly awkward beauty that only a hunter could perceive, Milo rested his, its, his hat, hand on the lifeless head. The orange bristles felt special. He loved the feeling of them tickling his skin. It was reassuring to press his hand on the brutish animal's head, Soon, this head of ambivalence and extravagance would embellish the halls of a trophy room. He waited while the responsible concierge is, were informed. He looked at the collection and found the perfect positioning for this beauty. The Reich Commissar crossed his arms and proudly contemplated his work. He'd slain this robust creature. He laughed with satisfaction about how he finally had the trophy hanging that he desired just a few days ago. What a story to tell. No one could flee it now with the big creature's head begging to have it. The story told. The fine look reminded him of how many of Africa's finest creatures he'd already encountered. Now many of his palace's visitors would soon encounter, and Mueller won't stop now. So they have, like, one test today at one time across the world, so I live in Central Time, so it's 1 p.m. while New York would be 12 p.m. and L.A. 3 p.m. All right. Hmm. Okay. And how do they, do they have any way to make sure you're not cheating, or is it just like a honor system type deal for the AP test online? Because I remember, I don't, one problem is that Europe is taking the test at like 3 a.m. Oof, yeah, that would be rough. Like, I took Spanish 4, and that was merged with the AP Spanish because it was the same period. Because my school cannot afford more than one period of Spanish. And um, so we, we had a practice for the AP exam for Spanish. And they told us, you know, uh, all the proctors, 
test and all that. You couldn't have any notes. So, yeah, shit. Government of Amor. Oh, damn. Let's see what happens in the Russia, which is really... Russia is just a big fucking battle royale in this timeline. Pretty much. Okay. Yosef Mengele. Oh, God. How do I say this? Haupetelungus later for Afrikanisch politik of Reich Commissariat East Africa, Ost Africa, essentially acting as a foreign minister, just took his leave from Sigfrid Mueller on the helipad after an important meeting. They shook each other's hand with throttled rancor, palpable in the doctor's eyes. Oh, it's super monitored. They have extensive plagiarism software and they're combining through the internet making sure there's no group chats or anything. Alright. Um, do we have like, do you have to have like a webcam so they can monitor you doing it? Or is it, or do we not go that far so, and I'm not saying you should do this, but if you wanted to look at your no notes or anything, you could, or is it just, um, is that kind of an honor system type deal? Um, they shook in each other's hands with throttled rancor palpable from the doctor's eyes. It was merely a boring meeting about some already doomed treaty, but this snob played himself like an exalted representative. Thus Mueller examined the brought gift after the obnoxious man's vehicle was nowhere to be seen anymore. And its quickly recognizable color pattern gave him a much more exciting thought immediately, a hunt. There he took down like a hundred with anyone participating and helping their names submitted to college admissions as a cheater. They're all open notes. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, they're not fucking around, are they? In his remote office at Hitlerstadt, he pondered over the map where every ma mark his scouts had made was centralized for posterity. Um, he had to choose where he'd have the most luck for draft. Unfortunately, the most impressive examples were predominantly found in Hutix, Ost Africa. On the other hand, there was a Serengeti, a flight that would take him beyond yet another lake deep and deep in Ost Africa's north. That idyllic savanna with its prominent grass landscapes would certainly find him impressive animal. On the other hand, his choice fell on the Akagera, located before the aforementioned lake, lake yet similarly within Hutig's Reich Komazaria. Not too dissimilar with the Serengeti, the giraffe was to be found here in plenty as well. He had to choose where he'd hunt the giraffes, however, he had to keep in mind where he was going. Hans Hutig was anything but friendly towards Mueller, and it wasn't and unlikely this hunt would see him stirring up the most dangerous predator on the African continent. They're helping us, but you only have 45 minutes, so you don't really have time. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Um. Go, go, giraffe. Um. Yeah, they, they don't fuck around with VAP tests. I know that much. Um, what do we want to go with? Let's go deep in the hornet's nets. That was not a good idea. Uh, big majestic creature, probably modern and swift. There we go. The Rash Kamazar was taking the last sip from his favorite drink before ma making everything ready for his departure. Rolf Steiner, who was also attending the meeting with Mengele, much to his distaste, recommended taking the flight for he from here for potential safety reasons. Furthermore, he planned a helicopter route that would lead through the territory Hutig had to lose control of. There was a lot to choose from in that regard. He just hoped that the damn partisans wouldn't meddle with his hunt. Mueller went around the Hitlerstadt garrison to get out their crew, the most experienced scouting corps members, an excellent marksman completing his crew by including his personal guards. This time, there was neither natives nor mercenaries allowed. He needed absolute unyielding trust in his crew. Everything was ready. The Reich Commissar rubbed its hands at the thought of slaying majestic giraffe soon. He pictured it right in front of him, aiming at the speckled fur of a t this tall creature with its filigree head on an enormous neck. Him approaching after the deadly blow and fascinated by the exalted ore would soon radiate in his grand collection. However, this hunt had to count for multiple factors. Certainly, the adrenaline rush wouldn't solely be 
incited by what he was hunting, rather where. This time the horn stayed silent. Hmm. Um, are you a senior or, um, probably junior, right? Because I remember doing, um, I had U.S. History Junior year. We're closing Reich Kamazar. Finally. Helicopters soared. Ahead was a legendary savanna of the Serengeti. Thousands of acres of hills, woodlands. Hills again! And the famously picturesque grasslands. Its geography, its geographic diversity was far surpassed by its zoological wealth. The fa most famous African animals could be found here. Wildebeest, gazelles, zebras, buffaloes, and most importantly, giraffes. One of his companions joined him on the skids, shouting despite the noise. How do you want to proceed? You seem to have gathered these essential details about a spot by now. The giraffe shouldn't be hard to see even from great height. I think stay high. 1% improvement, I'll take that. Let's see. Sigrid Mueller had already been nervously fidgeting on his seat within the helicopter cabin. He was already ch checking both equipment and terrain over and over again, already rushed with adrenaline. He made sure the pilots were keeping tight. The sentinels on the skids weren't missing any Oost African, uh, Ost African outposts. It's Ost, not Oost. However, they found something else. They found the true purpose of the hunt. Well, I guess I'm a junior now. I just finished my sophomore year. There you go. A group of tall and magnificent giraffes grazing between a set of savanna trees. Their shading crowns delivered the perfect image of what Africa was all about. Mueller was silent for a minute, reminiscing of all its problems prior. There was almost a tiny spark of regret that he had brutally destroyed such beautiful, beautiful sceneries before. But no. My <laughs> fucking keys fell down when I slammed my fist, damn it. He reminded himself that his hunting trophies were per perpetual captions of his sceneries. He firmly took hold of his rifle and suddenly barked orders to put his to put his decide to put his decided on method up uh, ah, put his decided on method of approach strategy into action. The big bodies gracefully moved on to take their nibbles on the grass. Movements that made Mueller grin before he started aiming in his opted position. He hovered above over the majestic animal with his reticle for some time. Finally, he chose which one he'd go for. He had his, his desired target. The bystanding giraffes were nothing to him. Now he forgot everything around him. The particular environment around him dissolved in pure concentration on this particular animal. Eventually, he closed his eyes and counted down. Possibly for the last time. How was online instruction for you in college? Um, it varies class by class, really. Um, okay, dries thy eyes. Let's see if we get it. Alright, I might as well reload to save. Actually, I'll read real quick. The bullet flew. Mueller opened his eyes. Where have the giraffes gone? There. They were fleeing already. Mueller set his sights on where the bullets went. Black boots, black trousers, a black savannah uniform appeared. On top ahead from some propaganda posters, blonde and blue-dyed, greeted him with an instant smile. Mueller took a deep breath where they beckoned his hunting crew. They met on the ground. His crew of a dozen and roughly the same in Oost Afrikaner SS with some additional English garrison Volunteer standing, standing sentinel. They informed them they were on regular patrol duty and need to search their belongings. Mueller tried to clarify who he was, but the Uber group, group and Fuhrer's response was merely an, another smile directed on his face. Mueller knew he had to let them check him and his crew, or this could end very badly. The blonde fella circled them during the inspection and went on through some formal pr documents for the procedure. We're glad to be help to such a famous personality as you, her, Reich Kamazar. He handed back the documents. This region is dangerous for high, higher echelons, but no need to thank us. You surely got distracted by the beautiful drafts. However, we seem to have sent them in a hurry with our appearance. He looked at his SF scene and a smile at Mueller. It would be an honor to accompany back, you back to Central Africa. We'd gladly do so in the name of Hans Hutig. Fucking Hans. Um, yeah, it varies class by class. Um... My school was fairly decent in the rollback. They were already planning going online before um, the governor gave the official order that you had to. But, so, a few of my uncle clients already, my class is already kind of a mixed setup, so it was kind of, um, you turn in homework online, but you went to L lectures, like, my, bio, my biology was like that. 
really only went biology this semester. Um, my English ended up um, going that route, and um, my drama class went that route. Um, it saved me from taking the the final in person, which I probably wasn't ready for, which helped, which saved my ass. Helped me get an A in the class. Um, but, like, my history class didn't go very well because the teacher didn't really think to send out emails to tell people we were doing, like, Zoom meetings. He told us to go on his faculty webpage, which I remember to do, but still. And then... Finals got mixed up, but it wasn't too bad, generally speaking. Um, and I have two online classes right now, which are which are okay, so far. Um, do we do deep in the hornet's nest or even deeper? Let's go right. Shit. Load game. I'll just reload that real quick. So so far, so good. I'm not a fan of online. But you, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Even deeper, oh my. We go deep. Um, let's see how much. Thirty. That reduced our odds like one percent. Okay. Um, this time the hornet stayed silent. Um, fly high, right? Right. Three, two, one. Fucking Hans! God damn it! Hey, how's your high school going with um the online transition? Cause I kind of know how my my old high school is kind of doing. Cause I'm still in contact with some of my uh, friends who still go there, but. Still, I figure every school and every state's different, so. Alright. Fly high. Stay unnoticed. Fuck off. No finals. That's nice. That is very nice. And in May 8th, there you go. <coughs> We're going deep. Modern and swift equipment. Sound of the horn stayed silent. Let's try going lower. Let's see if that messes with our odds at all. That actually improves them more. I'll take that. Three, two, one. Fucking Hans, god damn it. You dirty fucking Nazi. Wait, we are already. Anyway, we are Nazis too. I forgot. Load strange teachers for the most part stay in great contact with the students and their parents. That's good. Uh, that's good. Remember, um my high school one of my friends in high school said, um, he's a senior now and they're supposed to do like a, a senior project type deal like help out the community all, all that generic jazz but um apparently um they got an email from the school saying hey um we'd like it if you can do a senior project but you don't have to in fact you don't even have to do any homework so a lot of people are um just um school's already over for them which is nice for them. Like my um my buddy's girlfriend who's still um she's a senior, but um she's pretty much done with high school. Which uh I'm I'm jealous of her. I wish my senior year was that easy. Then again their graduation is kinda of pushed off to um August July or August, I forget when they rescheduled it. And prom was canceled, which kind of sucks. Well, it's being rescheduled to August, but too, but yeah. Sucks to be them. 
We're having trouble with these fucking... Let's do Congo Lake trading. The Congo Lake is a very recent addition to the world's geography, courtesy of our artificial Congo River Dam. While the co cost of native lives and environmental damage has been high, the lake has opened new, unexplored avenues of trade, and that's what Mueller's corporate friends want. Before the lake was created, all goods needed to pass through dirt ro roads and obsolete highways cutting through the jungle, always needing repairs due to adverse weather and in constant danger of being assaulted by bandits or rebels. Now it is possible to exploit the lake and establish sh safe shipping routes, cutting transport times and costs, and making the colonial administration richer than ever. There we go. Horn stays silent. Fly low to have a better view. Dries by eyes. We missed it. Oh, these Aryan fucks. God damn it. Why do they have to be so... So goddamn annoying. Hmm. How's um how's you guys quarantine going thus far? Modern Swift. Fly low, perfect occasion, and God damn it, Hans. Why are you doing this to me, man? Deeper. Swifter. Fly low. Perfect occasion. Come on. I'm curious if there's actually going to be an event that gives us the draft head. Regular patrol duty, yeah? How about you hide a helicopter in the bushes then? How come you immediately abandon your position? How come you fucking meddle with a hunt? Mueller was beyond certain. Hans, who took order of the whole facade, screwing up the hunt. They are all smiles and politeness now, but the intention is surely sinister. However, he could have. N he also knew under different circumstances, Hutig's response could have been completely different. The upper group in Fuhrer insisted that the two of his men would ha have to fly in Mueller's helicopter up to the border, while theirs guarded them. Guided them. Fucking bastards. How cocky they sat there. Proud of yourselves, huh? One part of Mueller was in a total rage. The other, however, was in total anxiety. The Ostafrikaner SS controlled the leverage now. Right now, that could just as well be Mueller's last hunt. A few hours, however, he found himself shaking hands with a blonde, smiling fucker that screwed up today's climax. Nonetheless, though, Mueller was beyond relieved that he was in ter his territory again. He had gladly stayed with his senses and merely made an example of the patrol meddling. Mueller thus... Felt like he was done with his grand collection for now. Hopefully Hugh would be that responsible for next time. Hmm. Fucking Hans. The only Nazi in Africa, as he likes to parade himself about. He's just a fucking asshole if you ask me. Modern and swift. Hunted stayed silent. You know, after seeing the reload image, I've been reminded of the fact that although I'm glad the Knights lost World War II, I really w I'm gonna w wish we saw Hitler's Germania come to fruition. The plan was beautiful, amazing. Two battles, dreams of a shitty man. Yeah, I haven't actually seen the um plans of uh like his Germania plan, so I'm not sh actually sure. Well, I've seen it like um. In Wolfenstein, like, New Germania. So, yeah. Even deeper, modern and swift. I'll have to look those up now. It actually sounds um pretty interesting. Curious. Fly lower. Yeah, the Turkey has cores on, um, Greece. We fucking missed it. Fucking Hans. Those Aryan fucks.
Rome slash DC on steroids. God damn. Deeper, modern, and swift. I mean, I get that, but... That does sound pretty nifty. But at the same time, it would have been, you know, a symbol of, you know, Nazi victory. You know, Aryan superiority. It would have been a symbol that Hitler was completely right. So, well, it would have probably would would be nice to look at. I don't know if that would actually be a good thing. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Um, do 47%. One stood silent. Fly lower. 3, 2, 1. Damn it! Hmm. I don't know, I get the whole aesthetic, aesthetic thought of it, though. You know. It does sound pretty cool. In fact, I'll look up some pictures on my phone real quick of, um... Germania. Yeah, I hate the symbolism, but I love the plane and architecture. I can respect that. I can respect that. Huh. I'm trying to think of like a, an analogy to compare it to. We missed it. God damn it. This is a Topi 2.0, isn't it? Um. I don't know. I guess kind of uh, Mount Rushmore is kind of similar in that, you know. It was um uh, built on the uh, Black Hills, which is like um important Sioux land, like um important uh, religious site for the Sioux. And so um and you know we, we all know what happened with you know the native history of the United States, you know light genocide, pretty much. At, yeah, light genocide. And so it's kind of, although it's sort of a symbol of, you know, America and how great we are, it's also kind of, um, has all these uncomfortable undertones of, you know, some of the worst fucking things we've done as a country. Fly lower. Okay. So, this max is out at 46%, but if we do... I'm trying to figure this out, try to optimize it maximal, um, maximal optimization. Because the percentages here are weird, like how they work, I've noticed. Uh, modern and swift, and even if you perceive the same two... And already we are at 47%, which is more than the maximum we've gotten before already. And fly low, 48%, 2% above what we're supposed to have. We missed it, fucking Hans. <sighs> Mucha Ficker. I think that's how you say it. Um, Forza, Schlampa, Schwanz. Um, what are some more German curse words? Uh, Hurenson. Probably butchering all of those to some degree, but and then let's see, stay high maybe. Let's see if that improves our odds any better. Play it. Doesn't hurt us or help us. Let's see, it's fifty-fifty. Damn it. Hmm. I don't think if I should cut the video. But I don't think I have any thumbnails. So I have to ask my guy to make some, and I don't want to bother him. Granted, he's probably not doing too much anyway, but still. Fly low. 3, 2, 1. We missed it. Yeah, I think this is Topi 2.0.
God, if only um Mr. Mousery was in chat right now. Still have um I have a few people watching right now, but they're not in a chat. Honestly, every German word sounds like a cuss word. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh What's um What's the old joke? Uh German is the language of poets. Very, very angry poets. Missed it. God damn it. We should shoot that blonde, that Aryan fucker right between the eyes. Put his head up in my trophy room. That's what I think we should do. Sound the horn stayed silent, I'm sure. They did. Fly low, have a better view. Drives my eyes. Fucking Aryan fucks. God damn it. Nobody in this world in history has ever gotten their freedom by appealing to the moral sense of those oppressing them. Hmm. Even deeper, this time the horn stayed silent. Fly low, three, two, one. Hmm. I guess it's gonna be like that, huh? Okay. Gosh on it, I want my collection. So I'm thinking I'll probably cut the recording. And then just kind of keep reloading, keep going until I just... I, I just noticed this. I've Because I keep reloading the saves. But you can retry the draft hunt. Actually, just from this menu. It's going to cost us political power. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. I'm curious if I mess with the odds or anything. This time the horn stayed silent. It looks like they're lowered. Fly high. Three, two, one. Oh! We got it, boys! Nice! The bullet flew and directly went through the animal's chest, potentially destroying its heart. It collapsed to the front, bending in a very grotesque manner. Blood flooded onto the grass while the other giraffes escaped. I, I actually, I gotta set my own. Oh, focus, I'm a few days behind. While the overdrafts escaped, desperate to survive, one of the giraffes attempting to flee was horribly penetrated by several bullets, yet succeeded to ultimately heave itself to safety. The other two escaped nearly unharmed. The deed was done. The victory, Mueller's. He was even surprised himself how smoothly it all went down. Now it was about time to claim a trophy. They approached the dead animal on the ground, step after step, Mueller's grin widened. He was happy beyond belief. He had only slain one draft once, very early in his rush Kamazar ship. He had hunted them after meeting in Salisbury without permission. Well, Hutig actually could never have known about it since the Reich Kamazar yet, were still in the build-up. He made some queer comments about drafts at their next meeting. He probably knew this time as well. This time, it was an intrusion on top. Mueller gave the orders to help him cut out the trophy. He wanted to be out of Ustafka as swiftly as possible. With the hunt over, he started to be wary again. He just hoped Hutig's response wouldn't be unreasonable and rash. Accident happen. Accidents happen where Hutig reigns, after all. But you know what, boys? We did it. And girls. Ooh. The Reich Commissariat was glad to have returned safely of the governing complex. For some time during the flight, he felt the thought of anxiety flooding his emotions. He felt watched, followed, after... But what should have happened? Hutik himself would never arrange the accidental shooting of a central Afrikaner helicopter that bore the marks of higher echelons. Yet, on the other hand, he shook it all away. Instead, he focused on finding the per perfect positioning for the magnificent trophy, including parts of a draft's long neck. It was the largest so far. Thus, the options were limited. Once hooked up, Mueller again proudly contemplated the hunts. By now, he'd come to the realization that the hunting season wouldn't allow for many more impressive trophies. 
The grand collection would have to wait a few months, but the occasional cash hunt wouldn't ha have to. All prior trophies standing witness, he swore to continue the grand collection to capture the African wildlife and all plenty as soon as the constellations will align again. He, while he patted the giraffe's long neck with absent thought, a clerk entered the room hastily. A call for the Rash Commissar from the Je General Bureau for Ostar Kanish. Miller cut himself with a nervous giggle. Very unlikely, very unlike the usually jovial man we came to love. Fuck! Indeed, Siegfried, fuck. Um... Oh, I started my recording. Thank you for the reminder, though. Fun fact, Hitler's bunker is still under Berlin. The Soviets attempt to blow it up twice, but obviously it's not easy to blow up a bomb-proof bunker. The last expedition was 2003-2004 for uh, purposes. Yeah, I think I remember that. I think there's, um... Let me, um... Look this up real quick. Also, um... Arctic ZG. Hello! Um, I do have a Discord server. It is... It's down below... With all the um, welcome to stream stuff, there's my YouTube channel as well as my Discord. If you want to join up with that, join up that. Um, Hitler's bunker. The Führer bunker, a building in Berlin, Germany, F a perfect five-star rating, according to Google. Interesting. Look at that. I don't know how, how well you guys can actually see it. My fucking brightness is killing it. Oh, it's coming it's come into focus now. At least I'm watching my stream right now, so I'm probably behind right now. I'm gonna wiggle my finger. All right, it's gonna be on, on top. But yeah, five-star review. And my phone turned off. Isn't it under a... Didn't they pave it over, like a parking lot? Isn't it paved over a parking lot now? Or something? Like a parking lot that's above it? I'm trying to speak. I'm, I'm not doing too well right now. Apparently. And, um... But you know what? It doesn't matter, because goddammit. What Burgundy has a fucking nuke now? Look at that, boys. And girls. And whoever is watching right now. Whatever your gender identity is, look at that. We got, uh, was it Babar? I think that's her name. We got Simba. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Hitler's dead. We got the, we got, um, still don't have a name for this draft. Um, we got Fuckface, Mr. Satan. We have Coronavirus, patient number zero. Harambe. Um... Why is it supposed to be verify accounts? What? Is it? I don't know, I haven't looked at my Discord settings in, in forever. And then we got Chester Cheetah here, of course. And, um... You know what, boys? Because I already know, this, it's about to go to shit. Everything is going to collapse in. So I'll wait a second. Although, I'm going to do it. There you go. I'm glad. Oop. We got a follower. Got to wait for my stream to, uh... Arctic Z EG, thank you for following, man. Welcome to the, um... Like, I don't have a name for my followers yet. Um, a useless organization for a weak state. I agree. Uh, there goes... There goes war. There goes the war, boys. Uh-oh. Reich Commissar Mueller has recently so signed a significant deal with a group, internet, with a group of international comp companies to establish a shipping consortium on the Congo Sea to be based in Stanleyville. It's expected that the number of European employees on the eastern shore to rise exponentially from the oncoming trade expedition. It's therefore required of your administration to provide the necessary sanitary arrangements to properly avoid the slowdown of economic activity caused by poor health conditions. Consider these. Insect-borne diseases like malaria and yellow fever are the leading cause of death for Europeans on your region. It's your responsibility to perform adequately the DDT fumigation and to levy heavy fines on any who allow waters to accumulate on their property. Mosquito populations should be halved until the start of large-scale shipping activities. 
STDs are also an issue. You should perform inspections in the city's brothels and expel any sick prostitutes. A medical team must be, pl it must be placed on standby for any emergencies on the company headquarters to lessen the risk of impairment caused by accidents. Continuation of your rules dependent on the following directives. On following these directives, Minister Rol Rolf Steiner. Well, consider it done, Minister. Um, I'll probably get going for a little longer. Just to see everything fucking collapse horribly. Or start to collapse. We don't go that long. The, the j so it begins. Here we go, boys. Yep, uh, South Africa is um, dealing with some unrest issues. Oh, they, they're maintaining the status quo, so I think that means they're going to have to deal with the ANC. Siegfried Mueller was walking up and down the handrail of his vast balcony, occasionally stopping to bend over and nervously tap his feet. He already told Steiner to hurry just a few minutes ago. It was only a mild ner nervosity when he sent Mueller to inquire the high command of Germania into the sudden fading of the occasional orders. But now he was certainly becoming worried that he had time to ponder about the true consequences of Hitler's death. He heard a dull noise through the curtains of the balcony and he made his way inside. There you are! What took you so long? Shiner's deep frown surely wasn't the harbinger of good news. The high command of Germania is all in a frenzy. They aren't even sure or themselves what's going on in the capital, but he bit his lip. But most of the high command has collapsed, just for the Reich itself. Mass desertion, street movements, vast protest rallies, the exchanging of shots between fellow brethren. They are speaking of a civil war. Mueller put his hands at the back of his head, raised his brows, and somberly stared at the ceiling. It was, <coughs> it was a long, drawn-out minute of silence. Both men's thought processes were palpably heating the already hot air. <sighs> Scheiße! Mueller finally said, Gottverdammt, Scheiße! He took a seat, still pondering. <sighs> what are these go supposed to do now? If shit's already going down in the fatherland, it soon will in the whole of the Reich. It's bad enough we've lost the high command, but even worse is what's going to happen here. The partisans, the investors, the shipping in Hutig. That's only the tip of the iceberg. I don't even n dare imagine imagining the many things that could set us ablaze now. Shiner bit his lip again. Tight. So it, be so it begins. We have to prepare for anything by this point. That was unexpected. So let's look at the, um, here's our new focus tree. Maybe we should help. Maybe we should organize. Um, da-da-da, military clusterfuck. Logistical cl clusterfuck. Well, Siegfried will handle this. Uh, Siegfried Mueller joins the fight. If that's not a Smash reference, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, missionaries, do-do-do. Send guns, to, sell guns to our enemies. That'll work. Hmm, Wunderbar. Well, probably stop the recording right now. So I guess I'll go just real quick. Um, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, uh, this is just more of a tryout. To see how these uh, streams go, I'd be willing to give it give it more of a shot. I had fun with this. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do next for um, anything really Hoi Four related. I'll wait and see how long it's gonna take for um, what you call it for the the real like the last days of Europe mod to come out. See how the progress is going. I might do Kaiserreich in the meantime, just as a filler series, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'll cut the recording here for the series, um, if you're watching at home, thank you as always, and um, I'll see you next time. Cut that